morning from the Wu Tins. We had a crazy day yesterday. Or didn't we, Hazel? <laughs> she goes. Yeah. Uh, busy, busy, busy. Um, now here we are at home and we are going to stay home today. I'm canceling a doctor's appointment for Jude and Tyler because I just don't have it in me to go to Tyler today. So um, we're going to clean house. This house is pretty messy and spend our day here. Um, pretty messy and dirty. Pretty messy and dirty. Um, still working through a lot of anxiety. I don't really know. And I mean, still working on dolls. And still working on dolls, Hazel said. Um, so yeah, I've been praying a lot and I'm getting peace little by little from the Lord and um, just believing that He's going to take this from me. So um, anyway, here we go. Let's clean this crazy place. You know, I said I don't really know why I'm dealing with anxiety. Well, yeah, I do. I mean, I have three kids, um, all with their own individual challenges. Yeah. I'm pregnant, and my mom's gone, so that's why I'm not dealing with anxiety, you know. I'm fooling myself to think that I don't know why. I guess what I mean when I say I don't really know is like, okay, like, you know, I know everything's going to be okay, but like my body still feels it, and so I'm just going, why do I still feel it? And I think it's just it's just this natural physical response to a lot of responsibility. And even though like you can have peace in your head and your heart, um, your body still feels the effects of it. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. So I'm just praying that God will release the tension today and um, help me to just, you know, and I am, you know, it's like every now and then I just deal with fear. Um, mm. Like it just comes on me like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, can I do this? Can I do this mom thing? Can I take care of all my kids? Am I going to be able to keep them from getting hurt? Or can I keep them fed, you know? And it's almost like a panic. It is a panic. So, trying to keep um, a rein on my thoughts today. And um, just praying for God to just take that away and just to heal me of that today. Because fear and anxiety are just awful. They are awful. Noku's awake. Hey. Oh, he fell down. Hey, Hazel, give him some room, baby. You're all blurry. T. What? <laughs> What's wrong? Don't push on him. What are you coughing for? You gotta quit all that coughing. Hey, did you sleep good? You slept in this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Titus is rocking the jorts today. You look so cute, baby. I'm a vlog. I am, baby. Titus, are you going to walk sooner than everybody else has in this house? Yeah. You're acting like it. And, let me get distracted with the dirty diaper. Another blowout today. And this happened. My tea boiled over, so I'm going to have to start over. I wasted six tea bags. And I'm sure you're probably thinking, well, why can't you still use it? Well, I think that if you overboil tea bags, then it's bitter. So I'm going to start over. I only let mine seep for like a minute after it hits boil. And um, so, yeah, we'll try that again. So I'm trying to eat healthier this pregnancy. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do a very good job with it last time. Yeah, it's okay. I? I'm making the ginger bunny. You are? Well, that makes everything better. Over here. You're awesome, Hazel. So, anyway, <coughs> got a package of these dandy celery sticks. And the good thing about, I mean, I know it's cheaper to buy just the regular stocks did, of celery. Did you, did, but once I get really sick, did you 
Yeah. I don't really want to handle food very much, so. What? You did make a gingerbread man head. That was awesome. Um, anyway, so these are already cut and ready to eat. So I can just pull them out of the uh, refrigerator and eat them. And it says they're naturally sweeter and crispier. And they are. They, they taste really, really good. So I made me some ranch dip with sour cream and ranch dressing mix. And then I've got um, carrots, cucumbers. Today, I'm feeling a little bit worse than yesterday. But I still have energy and not bad enough to have to lay on the couch and do nothing. So there's Jorts, man. <laughs> so I'm about to make a bad decision. Not the worst decision I've ever made in my life, but probably not the best either. I'm going to make myself a hot dog. Why is that a bad decision, you might think? Well, because it's 9.23 in the morning. But I'm craving a hot dog and I'm getting hungry and I know I'm not supposed to let myself get hungry or I'm going to get sick. And I bought hot dogs yesterday and they sound really, really good. So, And I already made myself sweet tea this morning. I'm not getting much done. Um, the kitchen is looking, it's looking okay, but I still have a lot to do. Um, I still haven't even touched the living room yet. And then I got a dirty bathroom I got to clean today. So, I need a hot dog for my energy, guys. Don't judge. Okay, so I really like hot dogs. And I know that some people look down on that because, but I don't know why. Hot dogs are awesome. Probably because of the way they're made. But the thing about getting a good hot dog is you have to get a 100% beef hot dog. Okay, so that's your first. And then you want to get one of the long dogs that cover, like, the entire size of the bun. Not the short, where you get cheated out. So this is what I put on my hot dog. Okay. I've got sweet relish, mustard, ketchup, extra sharp cheese, and then I always... Um, we soak them in water. What? Are you kidding me? So I um, broil my hot dog, like right under the broiler until it's like, like almost burnt. And then I put it inside the bun, and then I sprinkle cheese on it, and then I put it in the microwave to melt the cheese. And then I put all the cold stuff on, so I'm really excited about this hot dog. So I'm going to make something um, for supper. I'm going to go ahead and prepare it now. Um, <clears throat> this is a recipe that is from my dear friend Owen Walker in Lubbock, Texas, and it's called Chicken Swiss Cheese. And it's chicken breast, cream of mushroom soup, undiluted, a uh, cup of herb seasoned stuffing mix, fourth a cup of melted butter, and eight slices of Swiss cheese. And basically... You mix all that together and then you lay the uh, Swiss cheese on top and um, that's a very generalized description of what you do. Um, if you want the recipe just message me and I'll take a picture of it and post it but um, anyway then you bake it and it's very very good and it's really easy. However I'm out of cream and mushroom and um, anyway and I'm out of um, uh, stuffing mix or breadcrumbs. So I'm making my own breadcrumbs by just putting in some um, old bread into the oven and I'm toasting it for at 300 for 10 minutes, 5 and 5 on each side. That was the timer. And I flipped the bread over. And then I'm also out of cream of mushroom. So I looked for cream of chicken, which that should be good in there. And I don't have cream of chicken, so I'm going to make my own cream of chicken. So in the freezer, we had leftover chicken stock frozen from whenever we boiled a chicken. And so what I'm gonna do is um, bring that to a boil and then add a uh, milk and flour mixture and basically make a little gravy out of it. And then if it won't thicken up a whole lot, then I'll add some cornstarch to it and, um, and then I'll season it a little bit. But you want it to be really good and thick and rich. And so I'll use that in the recipe so it should turn out pretty good. There's my homemade cream of chicken condensed soup to add to my casserole. It's thick, but not super thick, so I think I am going to add some cornstarch to it. Just a little bit, but it tastes really good. Hazel May, what are you up to? I'm up to, I don't know. You don't know? What is that that you have your hands in? 
Is it sand. sand? It's a special kind of sand. It's called kinetic sand, I think is what it, it, it's called. It keeps my hands um, clean. It, yeah, it doesn't really stick to your hands. It's like half silicone, half it doesn't uh, sand. Really stick and to it my sticks hand. together. It's really cool. Let's see if I can demonstrate here. You can really mm -hmm. stick see to your hands. And it sticks really good together. Yeah. If you want to make stuff. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. What are you going to make? I'm making... I don't know. Oh. I need to draw and see. Oh, you're going to draw it first. Let's kind of get some blueprints. What? Get some blueprints. That means you draw it out on paper and then you make the actual thing. I'm making this. Ooh, that looks amazing. That'll be fun. It's, I'm trying to make it because it's really hard to yeah. make a rainbow. Oh, a rainbow. Look at you. It's you really see. hard to make a rainbow. Yeah, out of sand. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you can do it, though. You're smart. Yeah, but it just falls down. That's what happens. Yep, gravity pulls it down. But maybe you can make a flat one that lays down on the um, sandbox. Okay. Okay. All right, see, okay. Okay, so my um, cream of chicken turned out really good. I yeah. put a little bit of cornstarch in it and it thickened it up a little bit. Not a whole lot, but I think yeah. it's going to be fine when it well, cools. Hey. Okay, so now, what'd you make? I just saw any. Uh, bush. Um, anyway, so now I'm going to make pancakes. Pancakes, really? Yeah, you're probably yeah, thinking. Um, but um, pancakes actually can be frozen, and they freeze great. And you can just pull out whatever you want and just pop them in the microwave, and then you have pancakes, and they're really good. You're hungry for that? Okay. Well, we're making them for breakfast tomorrow. So normally on Saturday mornings I make fresh pancakes, but it's such a long process and a big cleanup. And since my mom's gone, I'm going to go ahead and make them and freeze them and just pull them out. And every, everybody can sit down together and eat pancakes and then we can move on with our day. So, here is the recipe. If you want to take a screenshot and write it down. Um, or save it, rather. The trick to making a good pancake is finding the right heat um, on your stove. <laughs> And so for ours, it's two. So I set it at two from the very beginning. I don't like turn it up high and then turn it down low. I start it at two and it stays at two all the time. So you have to do some experimenting with yours. Oh, and good morning from the Wooten's channel. Thank you, Hazel. Here are my breadcrumbs I made. Um, I just put them in a little Ziploc bag and then beat them. And then I added some Italian seasoning, some seasoned pepper, and some salt. Alright, so I trimmed my chicken, and I went ahead and beat it and got it, um, you know, larger and um, more even all the way through. I like our chicken like that, so there it is. Okay, so there's my chicken, and then I layered it with Swiss cheese, and then I poured the cream of chicken soup, homemade chicken soup on there, which I think is going to be really great. Alright, so I covered it with the homemade breadcrumbs and I put way more on there than it calls for. It calls for a cup and I probably did. Hmm, cup and a half, maybe more. And then it only calls for a fourth a stick of butter and I did about three fourths a stick of butter. And um, I did more butter because I did more breadcrumbs and I wanted it to be moist and taste good. So, my pancakes are coming along good over here. And... It's 11.13. Still haven't put on my makeup or fixed my hair, but hey, it's all good. And I, have, I haven't even touched the house. But at least we're going to be fed and we're going to eat good.